Alrighty, welcome. This is Crazy J here to do a quick, quick video on how to make a macro coil. Um, what you need. This is some stuff you will need. You will need some cotton. You can use any type of cotton you want. You can use organic cotton, Japanese organic cotton. Or whatever cotton you prefer. You will need your wire. I'm going to use this for my liquid. Um, you will need a pair of pliers. But instead of pliers, I will be using these medical clamps. You will need a pair of scissors. You will need a... Some... Screwdrivers. that should be it so I can put this up and basically get started I'm going to be using some let me get this to focus a little bit more brighter there we go um, I am basically going to be using 28 gauge coil wire um, so there's my 28 gauge wire. I am going to be using, let me separate some of this stuff. Um, I'm going to be using If I am correct, this is a 2.4 millimeter. Um, this right here is a 2.4 millimeter. This is a 3 millimeter. Or, yeah. No. Shit. I don't remember. It's like it's. I don't remember. This is. I, all I know is this is a 2 millimeter. This is a 3 millimeter. And that is all I know. Um, <laughs> I don't, I forget what size this is. This is like a four millimeter or something like that. It's big. Anyways, um, basically with the macro coil, you will need something around a three millimeter or a little bit bigger. I am probably going to use this, which is basically a pick, um, instead of a screwdriver. <laughs> And the reasoning, unless if I have something close enough, which I think, let me take this tape off so I can see if I am correct or not. Ah, it's pointless now. Um, well, anyways, I guess I'm going to use. Let's see. This is pretty close. This sc screwdriver is pretty close to the diameter I want. And it's it's like a, I think it's like a 3.4 millimeter, something around there. I know it's bigger than a 3 millimeter, obviously. But just slightly bigger than a 3 millimeter. So it's not too much bigger, but it is bigger. So, um, I need to try to get my camera to stabilize a little bit better, which I'm going to attempt right now, and I'm going to make it come down a little bit. Yes, I use basically books to stack my camera up. Um, let me stabilize my camera a little bit better. So it will stop moving as much. Obviously, I don't want it to be moving. Or moving just a teeny tiny bit. 
There we go. That's better. All right. Anyways, um, I am going to basically be wrapping. I'm going to be using 28 gauge coil wire. A something around a little bit bigger than a three millimeter post. I'm going to be using basically these wire clip medical wire um, medical clamps. And I am going. You are going to need a pair of scissors, obviously. And I'm going to be using this organic Japanese cotton. Um, you want to try to keep your organic Japanese cotton as fluffy as possible. Um, and I let's get started. Um, I'm going to try to basically make it to where you all can see me wrap this as good as possible. I don't have a cameraman or anything to show me how good my um, camera is focused, etc, etc. So, I'm going to try to do this as good as possible, as best as I can. Um, so, yeah. So basically, I'm going to be taking my camera and holding it and try to get you all to see it as close as possible. Now basically what I'm doing right now is I am taking my coil, I'm taking this, which is basically just some tape wrapped around a screwdriver. I'm going to retape it real quick. And the reasoning of this is because it will make it to where your wire basically help it help straighten your wire out. Any big nicks that you have in your wire, it will help take out. And I will show you what I mean. Basically, say you have some wire, just like this. And you have a little, I'm going to put a nick in this. Basically, say you, okay, say, and you say you try to get this out. Okay. See, you will always have that nick, that bend in your wire. See that? Right there. Let me see if I can get it zoomed up. Let me try to put it closer. Damn it. Why is my camera doing that? My camera hates me today. Hang on. Don't worry. Just watch. Alright, there we go. That's better. Alright. So say you got a nick in your wire. Just like I did right there. Boom. You got a nice little bump in your wire you try to get it out but it won't come out well, I guess it would help if I focus my camera see you got a bump in your wire and you cannot get it out oh no oh no what you do basically let me focus my camera one more time and I will be doing that multiple times take some put some tape around a screwdriver take your wire put it a push basically your thumb and your wire like this and pull one two three four five six seven there you go look at that that nick that little bump is out yay Come back to part two and I will basically show you how to wrap your macro wire around your screwdriver. Thank you for watching. This is Crazy J. Come back to part two.